Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kulen Dombela. This is my very first video. I'm a DIYer and interior stylist. So if that's the sort of thing that you're into, please subscribe to my channel. I have some amazing video ideas up my sleeve that I know for a fact you'll enjoy. I hate long intros, so let's get into the video. I didn't like how the rim of our bathtub had gotten moldy, so I decided to repair the silicone sealant. If you have a similar moldy situation, please don't be embarrassed. It's not a reflection of your cleansiness or lack thereof. It's literally just moisture being trapped behind the silicone. First up, you'll need some silicone sealant. I got mine in white, but there is also a transparent option. A caulking gun to help with precision during the application. Next, you'll need some tape to mark off the placements of the silicone. I'm using masking and sellotape. An oil lubricant. I'm using Q20, but you can literally use anything oily. A blade or a scraper to get rid of the existing silicone. A brush, water and detergent. A cloth and paper towel to clean up during the whole process. And you're good to go. To loosen the existing sealants, I'm going to go in with some Q20 and spray along the edges. Now I'm just scraping the existing moldy silicone. This is disturbingly satisfying. Also, please be aware I'm not scraping the bathtub. The sound that you're hearing is the blade going against the towel grout. Now I'm just cleaning up with the damp cloth and also removing any leftover silicone. I made a detergent mixture and I'm using my brush to scrub off the moldy silicone. Here I'm using my masking tape to mark off where I want the placements of the silicone. I'm also going in with my normal sellotape to keep my masking tape in place. Now for the silicone, I'm going to remove the applicator and cut an opening using my blade. When cutting, you want to make sure to cut away from your body, otherwise, RIP to you, boo boo. Boo, 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 boo. And oh. Cutting this, you don't want to cut flat, you want to cut at an angle. So. I'm gonna hold again away from my body, close to the tip, and just like, like that. One thing about me, I stay strapped. <laughs> Basically, what the caulking gun does is it gives you control over how much silicone you let out. Next, I started piping out my silicone, gave myself a second to get the hang of it, and then just decided to go for it. What I realized is the quicker you go, the better because it becomes less clumpy. So you let out a lot less silicone than you would if you went slowly. Here I've dipped my finger into some water and I'm using my wet finger to smooth out the silicone. A mistake that I made here was using too much pressure and I actually ended up getting some of the silicone off instead of smoothing it. So I had to go back and pipe out some more silicone and just keep smoothing it out. I got too excited and decided to remove my tape but it actually helped me because I was able to see where I had gaps in my silicone and attend to them before the rest of it had gotten dry. Next I wrapped a wet wipe around my finger and I used this all around the bathtub to sharpen up my lines. I'm really pleased with the outcome, especially because it was my first attempt. It's not 100% perfect, but it'll definitely do. 
thank you so much for tuning in i really hope you enjoyed this video especially since it's my first one it really took a lot of me to post it but i was like you know what it's very disrespectful to psych yourself out of things that you actually really want to do so i was like i'm done with the disrespect i'm doing this so thank you so much i've got some amazing videos coming up so please stay tuned please subscribe follow me on all my socials so you're in the loop and yeah thank you